Hiya, I'm Tim Sandall and I'm BPL Site Microbiologist and welcome to the third video in the series of Five Minutes with Tim where we talk about one essential clean room point. And the subject of this third video is about personal hygiene. So I'm going to make uh, three different points around personal hygiene and this video will last no longer than five minutes. So I know this is a slightly touchy subject but it's an important one for working in clean rooms. So the first point I want to make is about the health questionnaire that everyone fills out every time there's a shift handover, so around every four days of, of working. And this is completed by your shift manager or by your team leader with you. And here it's important that you do flag up any illnesses. If you have coughs or runny noses, stomach upsets and so on, then you must report these. And in most cases, you won't be allowed into the clean room until the condition has cleared up. You have to put on to some other duties. You also need to let your manager know if you've developed any chronic skin conditions like eczema, or you if you have dandruff or any other scalp condition, or if you're suffering from any respiratory condition like wheezing. These are all big no's for clean room entry. The second point is that if you're on a course of antimicrobials or antibiotics, then you must let your manager know. And here the issue needs to be reviewed on a case by case basis. And this is because some pharmaceuticals will change the microbial balance in your body or on your skin. And this might either promote shedding and leading to a high level of particles and bacteria being shed, or it might lead to an undesirable microbe outgrowing what we normally expect to find. And the gowning procedure may not be able to deal with excessive numbers of these organisms. The third point is that if you notice another staff member with a personal hygiene issue, then you must encourage them to speak to their team leader or you approach the team leader yourself. So if you can see or smell something odd, then most likely it is odd. And I know approaching another staff mem member about inadequate uh, personal hygiene is a task most of us want to avoid if possible. So give your team leader a nod. And it's important because the clean room gowning and routine disinfection protocols that we follow are all designed for best case scenarios. And they may not be able to deal with lax personal hygiene issues. It's also important to make sure that your colleagues are not doing things like picking their noses as they're going through changing rooms or fiddling with their skin. Now, although this seems obvious etiquette, you can't assume that everyone's on the same page as you when it comes to good personal hygiene standards. It's also important that your fingernails are short and clean. False nails and long nails are both unhygienic and they're impractical for putting on your gloves or even the risk of tearing gloves. And also as a reminder, you mustn't wear makeup. Makeup significantly increases the number of particles that are shed from the skin by the thousandfold. With male operators, it's also ideal that you are clean shaven because the number of contaminants in the beard is much, much higher than smooth skin. But if you do feel that you want to wear a beard, and if you haven't shaved in the last 24 hours, then you must wear an appropriately sized beard covering or beekeeper hood to make sure that all the hair is contained within that. Okay, well that's it. This is video number three of Five Minutes with Tim. Keep on doing a good job, and until next time, as I said before, Good luck with your shift and I'll see you soon.